What is up guys, my name is Toby and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on Pro League rushes. There has been quite a few Pro League rushes that happened recently on the Rainbow Six Siege Pro League channel. So I decided to gather a handful of rushes and put them in a compilation. I hope you guys enjoy the video and just remember this is obviously not all the rushes so I definitely did not cover all of them so uh, if you're upset that I didn't get a certain rush you guys remember I'm sorry hope you guys enjoy the video still and peace out we saw it at EG from that very first round which is on that second floor the mute mozzie combo you're gonna hear it a lot Mumo we need to shorten it or something like that because mute mozzie is way too Mute Mozzie. Mute Mozzie is way too. Mumo is kind of weird. It's a rush oh, from SSG okay. as they get into Arsenal. Rampy dodges the C4, and Canadian will pick up Necrox, who is trying to stop that. There are not enough anchors to hold onto the site. Canadian will get this plant nice and easy. Dirt in control as well. There's two more for SSG as EG attempts to retake. Odigo will get one onto Bosco, so at least there's that for Evil Geniuses. But in a post plant, he will be eliminated, leaving just NVK with the Roni and a Dream. 20 bullets in this magazine, that's not very much. His position is well known, trying to follow the tracers here. He knows one's in dirt. And there he goes into the Claymore. SSG, what a rush on a soft drop down in stock. Huge mistake from EG to not reinforce stock. Huge mistake. That is your undoing entirely. Say what you will, she's the fastest in, in terms of everyone's mind's eye. She's the fastest. Three speed, right? There's no, there's no speed difference to clarify that statement, but you know that doesn't stop people from imagining she's quicker. Speaking of quicker, Neptune's going to be rushing into the site here, and will try to deny the well push in through the smoke that's been established. The fuser being implanted by the Maverick of Avian. Neptune's name will find Yeti. Ghost also takes out Acid with a beautiful one tap in the main lobby. Crazy will be down. ZZ now the last. Defender and he has to retake in a post plant. It's not gonna happen. Ghost shuts him down. What is going on, E Gang? A Russian through delivery and now a 3 1 lead. Not just a Russian to delivery, but also not neglecting the fact that you have to hold post plant positions. Start pushing in. Actually, take control of this window. You got three, four players in position right here. A rush strat? I think this is a I, it's a rush strat oh, from no. the Sonics. And they're going in. They've got sight control. Avian gets the lead in kill. Necrox has punished Neptunes, but it doesn't matter. The Sonics could plant, but no. Avian tries to go into Astro for some reason, but that doesn't even matter because the Sonics have man advantage. We're on match point. Sonics, what the heck? Evil Genius is falling apart. That's one way to get it done. Again, uh, we talked about it earlier, you know, there are, there's one particular operator that aids you a lot uh, when you're looking at a construction take, and that's Blitz. You can bring a Montaigne to supplement it, but honestly, you're going to want that Blitz. And uh, because of that, or the lack of it, um, I'm guessing it's going to be something different. The only thing is, no hard destructors, like you said, so... I guess a main lobby rush. Okay, Duds all the way in now. He's in sight. He does not check laundry all the way, so he gets shot from his flank. The prone does not work anymore like that, Duds, but Paula gets a double kill behind the Ash. So, boot camp have the control that they also wanted thanks to a well-read rush in through the main lobby stairs. M King's gonna get Astro on the flank, and the diffuser is going down. It has finally been planted. Evil Eye still alive, but not able to deny that plant. Map gonna have to call his phone, and Gohan gonna have to stand still in just a second as the EE1D is used. A nice strategy being employed here from boot camp, and it is all but impossible for FaZe Clan to fight it back. M King and intact, lock it up, an excellent execution. For the very first time coming out on attack. So you've got a Blitz, a Lion, and a Dogami, and they're just going to immediately pop uh -oh. that, and they're just probably going to sprint right in. I imagine that this is going to be a very fast round, no matter who wins. Yeah, absolutely. Nine Line catching Pulse off guard in the main lobby. Talon from behind, using that DMR. We'll get the headshot. Canadian goes down, and here comes the rush. Ronin already inside of Laundry. Forcing these defenders back as the mirror windows go up. Young through the wall will get the kill though. Cookies reciprocates as he pushes through the main hallway. And Ronin, for the first time, looked like they have a chance and their own dominance in this match. 
This is a wonderful cheese strat that we see right now, but EG is able to come up. Billboard eliminating Necrox. NBK takes it out. Ronin, what? That took 45 seconds, and that round is over. Leave it to Ronin to just bulldoze inside of the site. They are finally on the board. It will not be a 10-0 for Evil Geniuses. They take it in what is one of... A recruit or an actual operator, but in this level of play, where every single gadget has a lot of importance, it does mean a lot. So K6 aware of his predicament and is going to choose to try and rush up that uh, main staircase. He will make it to the top, but he goes for his vault and gets lit up and finished off by Uno. So a lot of damage done to Uno. He's on very little HP, about 1510-ish. But beside the point, really, he lost his life for nothing. And uh, that was a big misplay from K6. Personally, I like it that you don't play the Blitz all the time because enemies will know that the Blitz is coming, so they right. might add just to try to kill it with multiple people or throw C4 or something. Oh, this is, looks like a rush. It's gonna be a rush. Psycho is already in. Kills the Echo. Easy kills. Second kill, Smoke Dice as well. So he's right there. There's no one to hold this push. 20 seconds, and they're in, but Rizraz will answer back. Do they have complete control? Psycho will get Magnet one. Magnet down. will trade it off, and Magnet with another. The Legion just unprovoked. Diffuser goes down, and Log will watch. EZD will get a kill of his own, and Neofighter, last man standing, but he's getting pinged. He knows the marks. He gets the down on the Vogue, and PZD is last man left. Vogue will not be provided an opportunity to be a living drone, as he will get taken out himself, but PZD is there to close it out, and that round was over before it even started. We see often uh, Habana, who will try to open up into the bathroom to uh, apply pressure to the rotation between sites, making a push onto site a lot easier. The aggression for Giannis finally working against him as Boss is ready to play the angle and get the kill. A uh, slew of kills from both teams, mostly G2 though, as Kanto gets two, Fabi gets another. Enemy will fight back though with two of his own, running out wild outside of the front door. Fabian is down, and the round is won for Penta. What, what? did we just witness? Oh my gosh, an incredible retake for Penta. Great positioning for Enemy. That's his second clutch in a row, and uh, 3-2, Penta's favor in the first half. Can I get like an exact time on how long that round was? But they are gonna focus a little bit on downstairs first. They wanna see what they're gonna have to deal with. And Wait. looks like a complete downstairs oh push here for bathroom. Team Liquid are gonna get a lot more aggressive than expected here. Wow, it's it the leg of the smoke. There they we gotta go. get him. Yes, Nesk will take him out. Liquid are running away with this here. As now all the hatches are gonna get open. Jonas and Kanto though getting a kill each as they're using the top of the service to their advantage. Finally, Ness will land the headshot on Kanto as he's very low on health. 3v2 and the diffuser has not been set just yet. Ness will not see the drop. And does he see the player that moved away? Where are you going, Pengu? Jonas playing from top side is bullet taking down Pengu all on Jonas and this is working. The rush play from Liquid has been perfected. Penta did not expect this one here as the Diffuser is down <laughs> and Bullet will take down Jonas. What a fantastic bit of execution from that Team Liquid. Like up on site in just a moment. Oh, this is going to be fast. Here we Ooh. go. They're rushing the site. They know it's clear. They're just going to head right on down and there's nothing to stop them right now. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Wonka just he gets into the site completely uncontested. No way. Mantis. <laughs> Mantis. They, they were a little bit too confident there, uh, in their setup there. And there you go. First kill. <laughs> He's going to be coming out. Wonka does manage to find Sweet Black there on the site now and now it's up to Mantis to try and retake it. Yep, they now play them at their own game, oddly enough. Empire on defense are well known for being this aggressive team, very reactive to you. And right now, at least on the first half, Fours did the same to them. All three EMPs used for the rushes. Wow, Fours rush walk in. in, two players will be lost, three of them. Empire outplayed. We've all been bamboozled, and WTG will take a bit of damage, but it's pretty much done. Joystick's low in HP. Scyther is at full, but he's the Valkyrie and doesn't have much to use in this case. Look at the amount of damage done to him as he vaults back into the bedroom. And Fours, barely a flesh wound. Nitro is out. There's Pasha on the Scyther. And last but not least, this Joystick. Fours, flawless on the assault, and the perfect timing for it, as now they're on map and match point. And some nice support from Fabian, who's going to be able to call it where he can rotate. Phone call, going to be a little bit of a problem, but not a big deal for Kanto, who didn't even feel like he needed to answer it last time. Oh no, the push from Liquid in the back. Pengu will get taken down as Sexy Kick rushes in. And there's still, still more Candalus being shot in. Jonas cannot see a single thing as Dex gets two more on the board here. 
What a play. It seems like Liquid realized we can't go from the front. We'll go in the back. Bolt with a team kill, but you know what? He'll get one more on Kanto. At least Avengers followed Comrade Fabian. Has man alive with no C4 to play with. He's got to push up very close here to win the fight against Bullet. He'll take down at least one player. Sexy Cake low in health. He'll set up on the outside by the yellow stairs. This PSK can just punch tiny holes open here to shoot through as there's only basically a couple spots that Fabian can pen from. Get the kill. PSK will save the round. But uh, it's still, of course, just the beginning of the, the actual round as this could go over to map point here. Is this quickly. the rush? They're going to rush is. on down. They're not even going to take that, uh, that reinforced hatch down at all. They just rush in. They realize the entire site is empty because Mocket are playing this Latin America style. Everybody off the site. That's the first one getting taken down. It's Boy. Now the second one as well. Pengu down onto Alive. So 3v2 with the diffuser already planted. Panic slow on health. He gets one kill on Jonas. But Goga will refrag instantly, making sure that Mocket have to work for every single one of these moments. Revan is down on the floor up top in the meeting hall. And it's all up to enemy. As the MP5 SD will make him heard in through the hallway, the Ash can come in from the back and it's already Goga. That will finish him off. Momentum based sure. as well. Yeah. This is going to be a very uh, fast push. Uh -oh. Phone calls are off and everybody from Nip is in, but Pengu is there to greet PZD and that will be the first casualty as Goga jumps in as well and it looks like Nip taking a huge gamble. Goga is down so that will be Wog. Pengu will get shut down as well. Nip heavily inside of the site, but that's going to be it. Jonas with two. What on earth just happened? Julio, last man standing. A team kill from Jonas as Julio tries to work his way in. But Teller's archives, and this is match point. This could be over very, very fast. They're just going to sprint right in and cut through the site. Cleave right through Vitality. But it doesn't look like there's anybody on site. They'll get a plant off within 30 <laughs> seconds. Vitality so committed oh, no. that no, Vitality, everybody is still alive. The good news is that is still winnable for Vitality, but they'll retake and all the sites will be trained on all the various members. Bobby and Goga, Pengu, can we see Kanto? And Jonas pick up kills. Just two left here for Vitality. Brit can get the first one for his team, though, as Pengu goes down, watching the Visa flank. The Firebolts in the back hall are going to prevent any potential pushes, but Goga will also take out Brid, leafing Spark in one versus four, and he has no time. Fabi in the final kill, G2 take it. Speaking of attacks, uh, this is a very quick one. They are just rushing right in, and there you go! Yardy, my boy, takes out Neptunes. He's in sight, he'll use all of his EMPs, and they have the bomb site to themselves. They can start to go for a plant whenever they want, and Hyena will do just that. Make no mistake about it. Thomas taken out by Avian, but Hyena is a second away from being able to get this diffuser off, and in 40 seconds, they will be quite successful. 92 Dream Team are just crushing the Sonics in this round. When I remember when I said maybe unprepared, well, not the case here. And Super's gonna go down a drip playing inside of Visa. It's just, it's just Goddess. Goddess has been having an amazing match, and she's gonna continue that with getting a kill there. So stat pad a little bit, but it's not enough to come back from that kind of a disadvantage. I have trouble with the inside there. Skadina gonna do a little bit of drone work there, but it's a Redux that finds the first pickup. Lucan as well, a second. They? Oh, it's, it's oh. oh, they're just pushing inside oh, of the What? Yeah. What? Okay, everyone's. Hey, Drip, your last lot. Okay, and the round's All right. over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome to it, buddy. It's not gonna really work. They might just try to drop down into the site. Radoct will peek on around, and there should have been a drone here to give him information. There you go. The client just spotted out. Intact, taken away. The second one as well. That's the castle. Radoct wow. mopping them up. That's two, and the site is completely open. The reinforced hatches now play against the defensive oh, IATZ. Man. More flashes in as Skadinia will find one. VNX turning around though from the oil pit. Try and slow it out. 2v2 now. It does unto rise. And the, the defenders are trying to attack into the site. This is absolutely insane to watch as Duds and VNX try to turn around the site. There should be some sort of drone to give information, but Lucid be able to set the diffuser down. Now, unless you want to use Nitro Cell, now there you go. They have to use the impact grenade to open up the entrance into church. And the diffuser is set again. The opposite end. The second impact grenade to be used. Lucid will take one down. Oh, the Claymore. That's the last peak. Uh, Claymore as well as Cadinha 
We'll take down Doug. Got a player even roaming all the way up to the second floor once again, but Zest not going to waste any time. Just going to pop this door open. Thankfully, there's no resistance on that via a bandit or a kite, so no problems at all. They'll go right in. Oh, <laughs> they're rolling in. <laughs> Zest already with the opening pickup as Sonar had to do a bit of a double take. Noski goes down. Motive, Billboard, all picking up kills here, but it's all chips working it out. Down to a 4v2. Means going to bring it down into a 2v3. Motive looking for another addition to this. Now it's been even out. Down into a 2 versus 2. Mean still trying to pick off more players from the inside of security room, but Motive going to get it instead. Now on a 2v1, all on Rudy, and it seems the rush plan has not worked out. They did not get it onto the ground. Rudy tried to bounce the flash off the corner. Motive dodges it. He's behind the car, has the angle to pick up this last kill and the damage, but no, Rudy gets the double and closes it out for Chipsy Guac instead. Well then. That was quick. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a round.